strange historical tales where the corridors of history are shadowed with unanswered questions and enigmatic events. Today we embark on a voyage through the chilling mystery of the Mary Celeste, a ship discovered adrift on the vast Atlantic in 1872. Imagine this, a fully provisioned vessel found sailing without a soul on board. The crew's belongings were untouched, the cargo still intact, and a table set for a meal that would never be eaten. The ship, though seaworthy, bore subtle signs of a hurried abandonment, a disheveled appearance, an unfurled sail, and most tellingly, a missing lifeboat. What would compel an experienced captain and crew to leave their ship in haste, vanishing into the abyss without a trace? Join us as we delve into the ghostly silence that surrounds the fate of the Mary Celeste. Navigating through the fog of speculation and lore to uncover what might have happened on that fateful voyage. Originally launched as the Amazon in 1861 from the shipyards of Spencer's Island, Nova Scotia, our tale's vessel was marked with misfortune from its very inception. Within her first decade at sea, the Amazon encountered a series of calamities that seemed almost fateful. She suffered damage in the Atlantic, collided with fishing equipment off the coast of Maine, and survived a severe impact with another ship in the English Channel. Each incident wove a thread of tragedy into the fabric of her history. The litany of misfortunes did not end at sea. A fire in the warehouse during a port call in Glace Bay further tainted her reputation among seafarers and merchants alike. It was as though a shadow hung over the vessel, growing darker with each passing year. Finally, her original owner, wearied by the burden of constant repairs and rising debts, was compelled to sell her. It was under new ownership that she was extensively refitted and emerged with a new name meant to symbolize a fresh start, the Mary Celeste. On November 7, 1872, the newly christened Mary Celeste set sail from New York City to Genoa, Italy. Under the command of Captain Benjamin Briggs, a man as seasoned as he was cautious. She carried a cargo of denatured alcohol, his wife, young daughter, and a crew of seven experienced sailors. The air was brisk and the sky was clear as they embarked on what was to be a routine crossing of the Atlantic. Little did anyone on the bustling docks of New York know it would be the last time human eyes would see them aboard their vessel. As the Mary Celeste disappeared into the Atlantic fog, so too did her crew, vanishing into a shroud of mystery that has never lifted. On December 4th, 1982, the enigma of the Mary Celeste would unfold in the most mysterious of manners. The Canadian brigantine, De Gratia, captained by David Morehouse, stumbled upon the Mary Celeste adrift in the Atlantic, her sails haphazardly set and her movement erratic, a ghost ship on the open sea. Morehouse, who recognized the vessel as that of his acquaintance, Captain Benjamin Briggs, sensed a disturbing tale at play. Compelled by concern and maritime duty, Morehouse dispatched his first mate, Oliver DeVoe, to investigate. The boarding party approached with a mixture of trepidation and curiosity, only to find the Mary Celeste bereft of life but brimming with unanswered questions. The deck was wet and abandoned, the sails tattered and poorly set, and the lifeboat conspicuously absent, hinting at a sudden and desperate departure. Inside, the scene was equally perplexing. The ship's logbook, found in the mate's cabin, revealed routine entries that ceased ten days prior, with no sign of panic or disorder. Below deck, the cargo of industrial alcohol lay untouched, and the crew's belongings remained undisturbed, as if they would return at any moment to resume their voyage. Yet the fore and lazaret hatches were open and a rope trailed behind the ship in the ocean, suggesting an unfinished attempt to stabilize or anchor the ship. The De Gratia crew, under Morehouse's command, found themselves enveloped in a mystery as deep as the waters they sailed. The ship was slightly waterlogged with about three and a half feet of water in the hold, but nothing to compromise her seaworthiness. The absence of the crew and the captain's family with no trace of violence or clear peril painted a ghostly picture that would captivate the world for generations. Suspicions inevitably turned towards the De Gratia. The maritime law of salvage spurred whispers of foul play, as salvaging the Mary Celeste could yield a handsome reward. However, these speculations found little grounding at the subsequent salvage hearings in Gibraltar, where the integrity of the De Gratia crew stood firm against scrutiny. 
leaving the waters of truth as murky as ever. As the Mary Celeste was towed back to port, the theories surrounding the disappearance of her crew began to take shape, each woven with strands of speculation and scant evidence. Initially, thoughts turned to piracy or foul play, a common peril of the seas. Yet the ship bore no marks of violence, no sign of a struggle, and valuable items remained untouched, quietly dismissing the likelihood of a pirate attack. Another suspicion was insurance fraud, a motive dredged from the depths of maritime lore. However, records revealed the cargo and the vessel were not excessively insured, undermining the credibility of this theory. Then there was the possibility of an alcohol vapor explosion. The cargo of denatured alcohol, prone to fume, led some to hypothesize that fear of an explosion might have driven the crew to abandon ship. But again, the absence of any physical evidence of such an event aboard the Mary Celeste cast a shadow of doubt over this explanation. Yet this theory would not remain dormant, as modern insights would eventually rekindle its flame. Advancements in technology and documentary analyses have shifted perspectives. Documentarians like Anne McGregor proposed that a combination of navigational errors and environmental phenomena, such as water spouts or sea quakes, might have misled the crew into believing their situation more perilous than it truly was. Supporting this, meteorological data from the period indicated there was a potential for such events, adding a layer of plausibility to the crew's drastic decision to abandon a seemingly seaworthy vessel. Further invigorating the discussion, recent scientific experiments demonstrated that alcohol vapors, when ignited, could create a significant pressure explosion without leaving burn marks, lending a new credence to the explosion theory abandoned by earlier skeptics. This revelation suggests that an unseen danger might indeed have lurked within the hold, perceptible only through its ominous fumes. Lastly, the theory of faulty equipment emerged with suggestions that a malfunctioning pump might have misled the crew about the level of the water ingress, compounded by the absence of critical navigation tools like the ship's chronometer or sextant. This scenario paints a picture of a crew isolated in the vast ocean, grappling with a cascade of small misfortunes that might have loomed large in the shadow of the unknown. Each theory, whether rooted in historical conjecture or buoyed by modern science, swirls around the Mary Celeste like the Atlantic mists that shrouded her final voyage. The truth, much like the ship on that fateful day, remains adrift, somewhere between the realms of known facts and the uncharted waters of speculation. Following the infamous abandonment, the Mary Celeste continued to sail under various owners, facing continual misfortune. Her final voyage ended in 1885 when she was deliberately wrecked off the coast of Haiti by her last owner, attempting insurance fraud. This scandal further cemented her reputation as a cursed vessel. The Mary Celeste sails on in the annals of nautical lore, her story resonating through the corridors of maritime history as a ghostly echo of mystery and intrigue. She has become a cultural icon, immortalized in literature, documentary films, and numerous theories that attempt to pierce the veil of her mysterious voyage. Educational programs and safety protocols in maritime navigation have been shaped by the discussion of her story, reminding us of the ever-present dangers of the sea. As we lower the sails on this episode of Strange Historical Tales, the mystery of the Mary Celeste remains as elusive as ever. Her ghostly voyage across the Atlantic in 1872 continues to captivate the imagination of all who hear her tale. What truly happened to Captain Briggs and his crew? Perhaps the ocean keeps some secrets to itself, hidden in the depths of its vast expanse. Thank you for joining us on this journey into one of history's greatest maritime mysteries. If you're intrigued by the stories of the strange and unexplained, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the bell icon to never miss an episode. Join us next time as we unravel another strange historical tale from the shadows of the past.